W-I-B-T-A. Would I be the a-hole for having my cousin arrested? Backstory. A few months ago, pre-COVID, my cousin, who I am close to, had a big co-ed baby shower thrown for her. I was in attendance, along with my husband. Another cousin was visiting her parents, my aunt and uncle, and decided to attend the baby shower as well. I'm not close to this cousin at all. We didn't grow up together, are 10 years apart in age, and our personalities are completely different. She's also just not a nice person to be around. Very negative attitude. We are obligatory Facebook friends though, mostly due to my aunt and mother asking us both to add each other. Skip ahead to present day, a few days ago I got a call from a bank I have a credit card through, inquiring about my balance not being paid, as I have always paid my outstanding bills on time. I told the bank employee I had not used my card, so that charge was fraud. The card account was immediately closed, and they began the process of looking further into it. Today they called me back with an update. The charge was for a donation to a charity that I knew of but have never contributed to myself. Still confused about why my card was used, I posted a short rant on FB. I got a few replies telling me this had never happened to them, and hoping I got it all resolved soon. Then my cousin, the one who was rude at the baby shower, commented something to the effect of well, maybe someone had a good reason for making the donation in your name. Maybe someone wanted to teach you a lesson. The comment was weird, so I PM at her to ask what she meant. At first she wouldn't tell me what she meant, but eventually I got her to tell me everything. She stole my credit card info at the baby shower. Her reason? Because about a year ago I began going to church. I didn't grow up in a religious family, but my parents were never particularly opposed to it. I went with a friend one day and found that I enjoyed the church she attends, so I kept going with her. I'm not vocal about my newfound beliefs. I don't throw it in people's faces or demand they believe the same. It's just something that I like for my own life. It makes me feel better and more relaxed. Apparently my cousin has a problem with me deciding to attend and join a church of any kind. And because of that she decided it was a good idea to sneak around and take photos of my credit card. And then use the info to make a $1,000 donation to this charity she knew I would never donate to because they're very outspoken about opposing what I believe, both religiously and morally, nothing to do with religion. My husband says I should press charges and have her arrested. My mom says that's going too far, even though my cousin was in the wrong. So W-I-B-T-A. Would I be the a-hole for pressing charges on my cousin? Edit. The charity is not anti-gay or the like. It's not PP either. Anti-A. Not the a-hole. She committed a crime for to teach you a lesson? Sis I. Teach her a lesson OP. Well OP also you have to keep in mind. If she's willing to do this what else will she do in the future? Card fraud is just a gateway to identity theft. Whoa whoa whoa. NTA. Not the a-hole. Press charges. NTA. Not the a-hole. That's not a spiteful prank because she doesn't agree with your religion. That is seriously illegal and she needs to know that. I would definitely turn her in. That could have messed up your credit and your life. If there is any chance that she copied any other cards or information you should probably cancel them all and get new ones for yourself. WTF NTA Fraud is not a joke. She frocking committed a crime to teach you a lesson, about wanting to practice religion? What? You're going to need to file a police report to get anywhere near pressing charges slash arresting your cousin, you don't get to go into a police station and say I want to press charges against this person. The system, at least in the US, doesn't work like that. 
The state ultimately is the one who decides to press charges. So, NTA. But realize this is going to be quite a lot of legwork and money on your end to bring this to a criminal court. Not a lawyer, so if there are any reading this, correct me if I'm wrong. NTA. Hypothetically, would she press charges if you came round and hooked her arse for being a thief? If the answer is yes, then you should press charges. NTA. She stole your credit card information and used it in a way that could have damaged your credit. Press charges. NTA. First of all, you need to alert your CC company with what you found. Have them go after your cousin. Second. Look. You can't commit crimes against people with whom you disagree. You just can't. Your church might believe in making all abortions illegal, that gay people are descendants of Satan and that all kittens must be drowned, especially the fluffy ones. And I in turn would not want to be around you. But none of your beliefs would entitle me to steal from you. Report her. Because that will teach her a lesson. NTA. And personally I would press charges. But if you do press charges, think about all the family drama you'll go through. Some of your relationships will probably be severed, possibly forever, even though you are absolutely the victim. Even people that know you're the victim may want you to try to make amends or not press charges to ease tensions if you feel you can handle the fallout then press charges. If you feel like you don't want to go through that, then don't press charges. Choose what's right for you. NTA. That's straight up credit card fraud. Yes, by all means, press charges. Info. What was the charity? Sounds like this isn't about religion, it's about your feelings on whatever topic this charity is about. I'd rather not disclose the specific organization. It's a local one that has a reputation in the area for paying people to disrupt meetings, like church services, funerals for first responders, weddings between public figures in the area, and things of that nature. Think Westboro Baptist but instead of protesting outside they often sneak in to ruin the actual event. They call themselves a charity because they do donate money to people in need, if those people fall into certain categories and are willing to sign a contract for eventual repayment. Basically they prey on those in desperate need of help. That's why I'm morally opposed, as well as religiously. I believe help should be given without expectations. Hippity hoppity pressing charges against this a-hole should be your priority. Absolutely NTA. She committed a crime and you were the victim. You have every right to press charges. The fact that you happen to be related is irrelevant. NTA. Maybe someone needs to learn their lesson? And think of what she might do next to you or someone else. This is the problem when people don't discipline their children for things they do as children. These children grow up think there will never be consequences for their actions. She could do serious damage the next time. And let's be honest, she's not going to jail. She'll probably get a slap on the wrist. Seems appropriate. That's what I don't understand. Her parents are good people and she was actually punished for things she did wrong. It just never seemed to get through to her that actions have consequences. They tried all kinds of things to get through to her and nothing works. At this point they've cut her off financially because of her behavior in life. She's on her own, but drives the 400 miles back home every few months to try convincing them to pay her way again. They let her stay in the house, but don't give her money. I will definitely be checking on them to make sure nothing has gone missing from their house though. NTA. $1,000 is a lot of money to me, and she sounds like a spiteful child. Press the charges. The family will react but she's a sh** and stole from you. At a baby shower. Because she thinks she's clever. Also, the charity is out. I mean, WTF. What a brat. 
and ta your mom needs to back you up definitely press charges hold her accountable sorry you have a crappy cousin the truth is it's not up to you to press charges it's up to your credit card company you can report this to the police but the likelihood of them investigating it further especially now that the credit card company is investigating is contingent upon what they want since technically you are not the owner of the credit card the company is once you report it to them which you are contractually obligated to do they are the complainant party not you it's not in your hands anymore so you can't press charges even if you wanted to if you want to report what you know to the police feel free to do so but it won't necessarily end with your cousin being arrested